Thank you, Brian and Undine. In this, our eighth annual Voices Animal Law Lecture Series, we have a look at a topic that is relatively unknown to most Australians, but which I believe will become more significant in the months and years to come. I'm talking, of course, about ag-gag laws. The term ag-gag has been used to describe a variety of laws in the US and internationally that seek to hinder or gag animal protection advocates by preventing them from recording the operations of commercial agriculture facilities. These laws are designed to deter animal advocates from documenting the often horrific treatment of animals in factory farms and further obscure the truth about where our food comes from. In the US, animal and environmental advocacy has even been labelled as terrorism. Alarmingly, several Australian politicians have indicated their support for similar ag-ag laws to be introduced here. Australian animal advocates have also been labelled as akin to terrorism by our Minister for Primary Industries, Katrina Hodgkinson. The Australian agribusiness lobby is concerned, and maybe they should be. Australian animal advocates have become increasingly effective in gathering and releasing undercover footage exposing animal cruelty and highlighting the truth about factory farming. The results of these activities speak for themselves. We've seen footage from over a dozen Australian piggeries, of pigs being beaten, of endless rows of mother pigs in metal and concrete stalls, unable to take a step forward or back, unable even to turn around. We've seen footage of thousands of ducks crammed into sheds, wading in their filth, their legs unable to support their bodies because they've been deprived their entire lives of much needed water. And we've seen footage of countless live export atrocities, too many to mention now, of Australian cattle and sheep being brutally abused, slaughtered on the street, in backyard butcheries and in unapproved slaughterhouses. This footage has been broadcast across Australia, from our living rooms to our courtrooms, forced the closure of piggeries and slaughterhouses, and even the suspension of live animal exports, even if, unfortunately, temporarily. It's resulted in factory workers facing criminal convictions for animal cruelty, and producers being fined heavily for misleading and deceptive conduct. But most importantly, it has evoked consumer outrage, fueling a growing movement of ethical consumers they care about where their food comes from and whether farmed animals are treated with the level of respect and dignity they so rightfully deserve. Over the last 10 years, Voices has fought hard to raise awareness of animal suffering in factory farming, to lift the veil of secrecy that shields this industry from public scrutiny and through transparency, educate consumers and create meaningful reforms. This is why Voices is so concerned about ag-ag laws because it stifles transparency, inhibiting law reform, and suppressing the public's right to question the status quo. And it is for this reason that we urge all of you to join us in fierce opposition at any attempts at returning factory farming to the shadows. Now, before I introduce our guest speakers, I'd like you all to continue the discussion on social media, Facebook and Twitter, by following us uh, by using the hashtag Voiceless Lecture. And without further ado, I would like to welcome to you our local speaker, David Ritter. David is the Chief Executive Officer of Greenpeace Australia Pacific. David returned to Australia to take up this role in 2012 after five years working in a senior campaigns position with Greenpeace London. There he worked on the global issues of destructive fishing, deforestation and climate change. Prior to joining Greenpeace, David worked as an academic and a lawyer in both commercial and native title practice. David is a widely published commentator on politics, law, history, and current affairs. He is an honorary fellow of the Faculty of Law of the University of Western Australia and an associate of the Institute for Democracy and Human Rights at the University of Sydney. David will be presenting this evening on the ways in which law and power are functioning to systematically privilege the short-term interests of powerful corporations at the expense of nature. Please join me in welcoming David Ritter.